Oh, yeah. Here we go. So kiddos, what are we doing? Nothing. We're uh, <laughs> nice face. I know. There's like an eclipse right over there. Really, an eclipse? Yeah. Yes. Fire. Wow, that's pretty. You exciting. don't deceive me. Did you see the eclipse? No. Oh yeah, yeah. How about mommy? Did you see the eclipse? <laughs> yes, I did. Kyla, did you see the eclipse? Yeah. How about you? No. No. How about you? Nah, I don't think so. Oh, well, make sure you look. It's already it's happening right now. Just what about you? <laughs> oh yeah, it's looking good though. <laughs> All right, all these people are up here for the eclipse. Here we are, lizards now. The sun is a mass of incandescent gas, a gigantic nuclear furnace, where hydrogen is built into helium at a temperature of millions of degrees. Yo ho, it's hot. The sun is not a place where we could live. But here on Earth, there'd be no life without the light it gives. We need its light, we need its heat, we need its energy. Without the sun, without a doubt, there'd be no you and me. The sun is a mass of incandescent gas, a gigantic nuclear furnace, where hydrogen is built into helium at a temperature of millions of degrees. The sun is hot. It is so hot that everything on it is a gas, iron, copper, aluminum, and many others. The sun is large. If the sun were hot, a million Earths could fit inside, and yet the sun is only a middle-sized star. The sun is far away, about 93 million miles away. That's why it looks so small. And even when it's out of sight, the sun shines night and day. The sun gives heat, the sun gives light, the sunlight that we see. The sunlight comes from our own sun's atomic energy. Scientists have found that the sun is a huge atom-smashing machine. The heat and light of the sun come from the nuclear reactions of hydrogen, carbon, nitrogen, and helium. The sun is a mass of incandescent gas, a gigantic nuclear furnace, where hydrogen is built into helium at a temperature of millions of degrees.